The next pattern in the organizing data series is called replace data value with object. The motivation here is that you have a data value on which you're going to want to add additional behavior as the system grows. A lot of times when we're in an early state of development for any given system, we might represent a concept by a simple value. For example, here a customer is being represented by just a string, which is probably just the name of that customer. But as the system grows over time, we're going to want to add additional behavior to that customer. And so we need to change it from just one primitive value to an actual object. So we'll start by creating that object. And then of course there's only one value which describes it at this time. Now the motivation here is that we're going to add more, but that's not part of the refactoring itself. That's something that'll come later. The refactoring itself should just replicate the existing functionality as closely as possible. So we'll give this a string called name. We're going to make its setter private. And we're going to make it required in the constructor. Now the, the reason for this is that because this was just using a basic string type, when we want to replicate that functionality as closely as possible, we want our new object, which just has a string on it, to also be about as immutable as the string type was. And in fact, we want it to closely replicate being a value object because what it's replacing was a value object. So we're also going to implement equals and get hash code. Now this would change during the life of this object as we add more behavior and it would probably become more of a reference type or an entity in the domain. But for the purposes of this refactoring, trying to keep the behavior as similar to the existing code as possible, we're making it an immutable value type. So now that we have that object, we can go ahead and start replacing some of the functionality here. We haven't made any breaking changes yet, we've just added a new object that nothing is using. So let's use it. First we'll add a backing field here. Now we might have a name conflict with the compiled version of this auto-implemented field, but we should change this anyway to reflect its new state of affairs. It's no longer returning an actual customer, but just the name of one. And we'll change this to reflect the new state of affairs as well. And now, essentially, all we need to do is replace this getter and setter to use this backing field. And essentially, that's it for the pattern itself. We've replaced that value with a data object and we've minimized the actual impact to existing code because everything is still using that string. All the consuming code is expecting it to just be a string. Now, very quickly afterward, we would want to start adding that new functionality to the customer object. We'd want to start changing it to uh, more of a reference type than a value type. And so, of course, we'd want to end up changing these, this property and this string here so let's go ahead and do that now, even though it's not technically part of the pattern. First we'll change this to a customer and just make it an auto-implemented property. And then of course we're setting this to a new customer. And we can rename it to reflect the new state of affairs once again. Get rid of the backing field because we're no longer using it. And of course here, this is just an example of consuming code. Since it's a breaking change, that would need to be updated. And then finally, 
we'll want to accept a customer here. And then change the name to reflect the new state of affairs once again. At this point, or anywhere during that part, we could also look through some of the consuming code and see what still makes sense. Customer name equals set customer. Well, we already have our equals down here. And so the consuming code shouldn't be using customer as a string anymore. It should really be using an actual customer, in which case we can use the equals method that's already been implemented. That's pretty much it for the replace data value with object pattern. Thanks for watching.